here's the reservation page for my restaurant. As you see, I have a table layout here. I can choose the date and time, add a name, select party size. And based on that, the system will provide me correct table size. And after the booking, the site admin has all the information on the WordPress dashboard. Setting this up is really easy, so let's jump in. Now the plugin we're going to use today is called 5 Star Restaurant Reservations. This one here. As you see, currently it has more than 10,000 active installations, mostly 5 star ratings, and it's an awesome plugin. So let's set it up. I'm going to go to my test site, go to plugins, add new. Let's search for 5 star restaurant. This one here. I'm going to install it and activate it. Now the welcome screen opens up and I can create the page for the reservations. I can create the page title here. Let's create it. Let's go to the next step. Now I can choose a minimal party size. For me it's 2. And max party si size is 8. Since I don't have tables that are suitable for more than 8 people. Early bookings from two weeks in advance, but I can also select one week in advance, one day, 30 days or 90 days, but two weeks is enough. Whether I allow late bookings up to the last minute, at least 50 minutes and so on, I'm gonna choose at least four hours in advance. And time interval every 30 minutes. Let's save it and finish. Now I'm gonna go to the settings and here you see all sorts of stuff. Currently I'm using the free version of this plugin, but there is also a pro version, the one you see on the screen. And the current price for the pro version currently is $67 for single site license. And as you see, it's a lifetime license. There is also a five site license and 10 site license. If you take a look at the ultimate license, then you'll see that for single site it's $297 and you'll get extra SMS text message reminders email reminders, table selection and deposits for bookings. So based on your needs, you can choose a suitable plan for you. If you take a look at the video later, when the sale campaign is over, then take a look at the description of this video, because there is a nice 15% discount coupon for you. Just follow the coupon and you're good to go. I installed the ultimate version to my site. So let's take a look how does the ultimate works. I'm going to go to the settings and let's go through the settings. First, the schedule. Here you can add the new scheduling rule. Currently I have set up the rule that my restaurant is open every day from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. I can customize it in a way that on Sundays and Saturdays the schedule is different. So let's add the schedule for Saturdays and Sundays. Let's add a time here. We're gonna open at 3 p.m. and we're gonna close down at 11 p.m. So this rule is for Saturdays and Sundays only, and this way you can create all sorts of rules for different days. I can set up the exceptions, that is, for example, on January 1st, we open up at 7 p.m. or whatever the exclusion rule is. I'm going to delete it at the moment. So once again, I can set up early bookings, late bookings. I can set the date pre-selection, and currently it's set for select today if valid. Next one is select today or next valid date or leave empty. I'm going to choose select today if valid. Time interval every 30 minutes and week starts on Monday. Let's save it and let's go to the basic information. Booking page, reservation, party size, max party size, whether to include blank option in the party side drop down. I'm not going to do that. I can set up a maximum party size below which all bookings will be automatically confirmed. I can activate whether to let quests view and the cancel bookings. I can display cancel bookings in admin. Whether to require phone number, I'm going to set it to yes. Next, pending confirmation message, confirmed booking message. If needed, I can redirect all pending bookings. The same goes with the confirmed bookings redirect page. There is also a cancellation redirect page. I can set the language here, set up the date format, time format. I can choose whether to display unavailable time slots. I'm not going to do that. Some security settings, for example, banned email addresses or IP addresses. 
I can configure Google reCAPTCHA here. You have to add your site key and secret key. And down below there are some privacy options that is you can disable IP capture, require consent and so on. So let's save it and let's go to the advanced settings. That is dining block length in minutes, 10, 15 and so on. Let's set it to 60 minutes. I can enable maximums if needed. I can activate that admins can ignore maximums. Next one, how many reservations should be allowed at the same time? So if you set the dining block length above, then you can change how long a meal typically lasts. You can set the maximum people, for example, 12. You can set a maximum number of reservation at one time below which all bookings will be automatically confirmed, for example, 15 or whatever it is. Next one, if you set up the booking page, then you can select it here so your customers can see their bookings. Some columns to activate or deactivate. You can choose whether to keep bookings private. Yes, we're going to do that. And you can allow guests to be checked in as they arrive. This is necessary for late arrival reminders to work correctly. Let's activate this one here. If you would like to connect your site with MailChimp, add your API key here. Here are some table restrictions. I'm going to activate it. Now I created two sections, garden and street. Creating a section is easy. Just click here, give it the title, for example, attic. If needed, add the description. If you save it and create tables, then you can choose it from this drop down here. Now I have set up 11 tables. As you see, those are the tables. Creating tables is also easy. Just click on add table, add table number, for example, 12, minimum number of people, two, maximum people, eight. Choose the section. And if you are allowed to combine this table with other tables, then the numbers here, for example, 10 and 11. If you would like to delete the table, then just click on this button here. Next one. I enable table graphics. What is the table graphic? Is this image here. So if you would like to display the table layout, then enable table graphics. Upload your image. This is the image here. And now table graphics location, whether it's above, left, right or below. I set it to left and table graphics width is 40%. If I change it to 60% and save changes, refresh it here you'll see it's much bigger. I don't like it, so back to the 40% and save it. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Now let's go to the notifications. You can set up the daily summary notification, add your email and send time. Here you can set up the general notifications, reply to name, Reply to email address at and admin email address. These are the template tags you can use. Just scroll down. And if you open up the email designer, then you can customize all the emails here. I'm going to close it down. And we'll take a look at the next part. That is reservation notification. Here you can activate and deactivate the notification you would like to be sent, for example, at the moment, booking cancelled is deactivated. I'm going to activate it. If you would like to add your own notification, just click on the Add button. Select Notification Type, whether it's email or SMS. But pay attention that SMS is only for the ultimate package. Whether it's customer or admin notification. Timing in minutes. And here's the message. And if you would like to delete it, then just delete it. If you have activated SMS notifications, then you can configure it here. And from email address header is also set up here. Let's save it and go to the payments. Whether to require deposits. Yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to activate PayPal gateway. I don't have Stripe, but you can activate also this one here. Or per guest or per table. I'm going to set it up for per reservation. Deposit amount is 30 euros. Currency symbol is euro. Currency symbol location is after. Deposit is applicable for all times. Now I'm going to set up my PayPal email. 
if I would like to use stripe, then I can add my stripe information here. Let's save it and move to the styling. Here you can choose between five styles. Currently I selected columns, that is this layout, but there is also a default layout. Let's test it. This is a default layout. This is the minimal layout. Let's refresh it. This is minimal. Next, contemporary. Save it. And let's see. This is contemporary. And last one is columns alternate. This one here. Since I like the columns layout the most, then I'm gonna activate this one once again. And this is my layout. If you would like to select the title font family for sections, you can do it here also, choose font size, section colors, and some other colors for messages and buttons. Just choose the ones you like the most here. Next one, labeling. You can set up your own labels for the book a table, date, and so on. Just add your own label and you're good to go. Next one is export settings. You can set up the bookings export information, paper size, PDF renderer, and Excel or CSV date format. If you go to the bookings, then you'll see there is a export bookings button. Click on it and then you can choose what you would like to export. If you click on the settings button, it will be redirected here. And the last one is for API keys. You can add your own key here and use it. I haven't used it, so I'm not 100% sure what will it do for you. Last one is custom fields. Take a look at it here. You can add your own custom fields to the reservations form. This is my reservation form. If you would like to reorder fields, just drag and drop them. And if you refresh it, you'll see it is moved here. I'm going to drag it back down below here, refresh it, and it's here. If you click the pencil icon, you can change the label. If you would like to add your own fields, then click on add new button. Now you can choose whether to add field or field set. In order to keep it short, I'm going to skip it, but it's fairly easy. There is nothing else to configure here. Now let's test it. So I'm going to choose October 2nd. I'm going to go to the restaurant at 6 p.m. I'm going to add my name. My party size is four. I'm going to add my own email here, phone number. And based on the party size, you'll see that this selection here is different. For example, if I choose eight, then you'll see that there is much less tables for, for me to choose from. It's because of my party size. I can choose table 7, 11, 3 or 4. That is, those are combined. 5, 6 combined or 8 and 9 combined. Let's do that. And now if I click on proceed to deposit, it says that deposit required is 30 euros and I can pay via PayPal. If I go back to the settings and payments and I disable the require deposit option, now if I go back to the reservations, and repeat the process. For example, this one here, 730, my name, party size seven, email, phone number, tables. And now as you see, there is a button called request booking. There is nothing about asking for a deposit. So let's request a booking. Here's a confirmation. If I go to the bookings page, you'll see this is my booking. I can edit it and set the status to confirmed or closed or whatever it is. Send a notification. I can change the table, for example, table 11 and edit it. Now you'll see it's confirmed and done. As a user, you will get a notification for the pending booking, this one here. And when it's confirmed, then you will receive this notification. Can't get any easier than that, isn't it? There is also a comment icon here. If you click on it, you'll see the details. So yeah, if you need a simple restaurant reservations plugin, then Five Star Restaurant Reservation plugin is one of the best I have used so far. Easy to use, easy to set up, and as you saw, it took only a couple of minutes. Now, before you go, since you're already messing with WordPress, then take a look at the next video on the screen right now. In it, I'm gonna show you some hidden WordPress features you most likely don't know about. So be sure to take a look at this video next. In the meantime, take care.